In the landscape of classic television, one series stands out as a symbol of enduring family dynamics and relatable coming-of-age moments. Growing Pains, a series that unfolded in living rooms across the nation in the mid-80s, captured the essence of family life with humor and heart. As we reflect on this iconic show, one can't help but ponder, is there a particular scene or moment that has left an indelible mark on your memory? The series not only carved a niche for itself in the industry, but also became a timeless representation of the familial bonds that resonate across generations. Its ability to navigate the challenges of adolescence, coupled with the humor woven into its narrative fabric, has solidified growing pains as a symbol of the industry's capacity to touch hearts and stand the test of time. What enduring qualities do you think make this series a lasting emblem of television? Now, let's dive into the nostalgia. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show? Whether it's a laughter-filled evening with family or a poignant moment that left an impact, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, as we reminisce about the Seaver family and their escapades, share your thoughts and memories, the ones that make Growing Pains a cherished part of your television journey. Growing Pains, a TV series from 1985, revolved around the Seaver family navigating the ups and downs of suburban life. The show, created by Neil Marlins and Carol Black, followed with psychiatrist Jason Seaver as he worked from home, while his wife Maggie pursued a career in journalism. Their three children, Mike, Carol, and Ben, provided a mix of comedic and heartfelt moments as they dealt with adolescence and family dynamics. Notable for its relatable storyline and realistic portrayal of family life, the series struck a chord with viewers. Alan Thicke's portrayal of Jason and Kirk Cameron's breakout performance as Mike contributed to the show's success. Growing Pains offered a snapshot of the challenges and joys of growing up, leaving an enduring impact on pop culture. The series resonated with audiences and became a cultural touchstone for many exploring themes of love, friendship, and the inevitable hurdles of family life. When Tracy Gold took a break in the final season, Carol's character temporarily went to London for college studies. Meanwhile, Julie McCullough learned about her firing just before shooting and struggled with a follow-up episode due to personal resentment, though the producers denied her termination. The theme song went through four versions, starting with B.J. Thomas, followed by a duet with Dusty Springfield. Jennifer Warnes replaced Springfield, and the final season featured an a cappella rendition. In one season six episode, Mike and fellow waiters sang the theme. These behind the scenes details add layers to the 1985 TV series Growing Pains, showcasing the challenges faced by both characters and actors contributing to the show's dynamics. In a pivotal turn during the hiatus between the 88-89 and 89-90 seasons, Kirk Cameron, spurred by a newfound religious conviction, insisted on writing off Julie McCullough's character due to her past appearance in Playboy magazine. Cameron's girlfriend, Chelsea Noble, stepped in as the replacement. According to Cameron, it wasn't just about past choices, but a conviction that Mike Seaver wouldn't sustain a long-term relationship. This shakeup highlighted the intersection of personal beliefs and character development. Notably, NBC took a playful jab at growing pains on Golden Girls, with Dorothy questioning Alan Thicke's unexpected success. The rivalry banter between networks added a layer of humor to the show's cultural impact. Meanwhile, an intriguing tidbit reveals that River Phoenix, according to Kirk Cameron, auditioned for the role of Ben Seaver, providing a glimpse into the casting dynamics of this iconic series. These backstage revelations offer a glimpse into the challenges faced by the cast and the industry dynamics that influenced the narrative of the 1985 TV series Growing Pains. From personal convictions, shaping character arcs to network banter and casting what-ifs, these insights enrich our understanding of the show's evolution. Kirk Cameron and Tracy Gold, who later portrayed siblings on the show, first teamed up in a McDonald's commercial. Their chemistry extended to the iconic 1985 TV series, where they played vital roles in the Seaver family. Interestingly, this connection began in the world of fast food advertisements before evolving into the family dynamics of growing pains. Moving beyond the on-screen camaraderie, Tracy Gold faced personal challenges during the show's final season. Struggling with severe anorexia, her absence was notable, particularly in the last episode. 
Akeen, I would reveal that, despite holding a pizza, Gold's character doesn't take a single bite. This behind-the-scenes detail adds a poignant layer to the series, reflecting the real-life battles that sometimes remained unseen. Shifting gears, the show found an unexpected afterlife on the Disney Channel between 1997 and 2000. However, not all episodes made the cut, thanks to the network's censorship. Adult themes, as seen in the pilot episode Extra Lap, and issues like premarital sex, drunk driving, and mild swearing led to select episodes being omitted from the Disney Channel broadcast. This alternate airing provides a unique lens through which viewers experience the show, edited to fit a different set of standards. In essence, the journey of growing pains extends beyond its initial run, touching on unexpected beginnings, personal struggles, and adaptations for a new audience. These facets offer a nuanced understanding of the series, revealing the complexities that shaped its trajectory. Kirk Cameron, reflecting on the Growing Pains reunion, acknowledged pushing his fundamentalist beliefs during the original run, offering a rare apology to fellow cast members. Despite this, the character Jason Seaver, portrayed by Alan Thicke, earned recognition as the 37th greatest TV dad according to TV Guide. An intriguing episode featured Mike's confusion between Russian playwright Chekhov and the Russian guy on Star Trek, connecting to Andrew Koenig, who played Mike's friend Boner, and was the son of Walter Koenig, the Star Trek actor. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and the show's enduring impact highlight the nuanced elements that shaped its narrative, offering a unique lens into the complexities of the iconic series. Robin Thicke, known for his later success in the music industry, made brief appearances in Growing Pains as the boy in the classroom. Meanwhile, an interesting behind-the-scenes fact reveals that Jason, portrayed by Alan Thicke, was seen enjoying Coors and Coors Light in the series. It's worth noting that Thicke had previously sung radio jingles for Coors in Canada. The show's attention to detail in depicting Jason's beverage choices adds a subtle layer to his character. Another intriguing aspect involves Joanna Kearns, who played Jason's wife, Maggie. Despite the on-screen age difference, Cairns was only 16 years older than Tracy Gold, who portrayed their daughter Carol, and 17 years older than Kirk Cameron, who played their son Mike. This fact sheds light on the casting dynamics and the skillful portrayal of family relationships, adding depth to the show's authenticity. Lastly, as the series delved into family dynamics, it's interesting to discover these nuanced details about the cast and characters. Whether it's Robin Thicke's early appearances, the choice of beverages for Jason, or the age dynamics among the cast, Growing Pains subtly weaved these elements into its narrative, creating a unique viewing experience for the audience. As we bid adieu to the charming tapestry of familial bonds woven by the beloved TV series from yesteryears, one cannot help but take a moment to reflect on the quintessential journey embarked upon with the endearing cast of characters in Growing Pains. Through laughter, tears, and poignant moments, the show carved its unique place in the collective hearts of viewers. Whether you found solace in the sage advice of Dr. Jason Seaver or chuckled at the mischievous escapades of a young Mike, growing pains left an indelible mark on the landscape of nostalgic treasures. It wasn't merely a show, it was a testament to the art of storytelling, capturing the essence of life's ebbs and flows with an authenticity that resonated with audiences across generations. Now, as we traverse the corridors of memory, we invite you to share your cherished recollections and reflections on the show. What moments tugged at your heartstrings? Which characters left an enduring impact on your life's narrative? Your thoughts contribute to the vibrant mosaic of sentiments that make growing pains an enduring part of our shared cultural tapestry. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Your stories like hidden gems add depth to the narrative, ensuring that the spirit of growing pains lives on in the hearts of those who hold it dear. Until we meet again in the world of nostalgia, relish the memories and celebrate the timeless connection we share with this remarkable series.